So my last episode talked about how I was flown down to Atlanta to film a wedding and how I did it all on a $400 camera. If you missed that episode, click the link in the description below. What I forgot to mention in that episode was that in order to compensate for the low light of the venue, I shot at 24 frames per second, dropping my shutter speed down to 1 50th of a second to allow more light to reach the sensor. This follows the 180 degree shutter angle rule, which simply means that the motion blur will look the most natural, with the frame rate being half the shutter speed. Typically, for anything to look cinematic, videographers will shoot at higher frame rate, 60 FPS, 120 FPS, to have the option to slow down the footage in post. I mean, because let's face it, everything looks better in slow motion. This is the truth. Higher frame rates need higher shutter speeds, which decreases the amount of light coming through the lens, which is why I shot at a lower frame rate, lower shutter speed for the wedding. This forced my pace of the edit to be on the faster, more lively side, as opposed to the typical slow motion, romantic, dreamy type video, which got me thinking about how dependent we are using higher frame rates and slow motion. I mean, I'm even guilty of this. I shoot real estate videos professionally, and in order to hide any bumps or bouncing in the camera movement, I shoot at 60 frames per second and then slow it down. You'll see slow motion in every wedding video, promo video, fitness video, B-roll, corporate commercial, everything. Now, why is that? The answer is super simple, and that is slow motion just looks really good. It makes the simplest, most mundane things look dramatic. And it's the easiest way to make anything look cinematic, which is why I kind of see it as a crutch, albeit an effective one. I mean, come on, let's be real. You could film a lot less content, use less creativity, slow it down to have a longer playback, and you could still have a pretty decent looking video. <laughs> but let's challenge this. Can we make a cinematic sequence without using slow motion? I think we can, but to compensate for the lack of dramatic effect that slow motion gives us, we're going to have to make sure that the content of the video, what we're shooting, is amazing. And I think that's going to require a dope location. <laughs> It looks like we got here a little bit too late. I try to wake up early to get this sign at night or at least before sunrise and it would be all lit up. It would have looked dope, but we're still gonna get dope footage. <laughs> Did not realize how cold it was going to be. <laughs> Trying to find some more interesting things to film. That was a lot of fun. So shooting 24 frames per second and creating a cinematic sequence can be pulled off if you keep three things in mind. Pace of the edit, music selection, and story. Without random slow motion shots to make the video look cool, these three things will retain the viewer's attention. This means the pace of the edit has to be a little bit faster, it has to be engaging and exciting, and every added clip has to contribute to the story. To match the pace of the edit, a good music track is needed. Something with ups and downs is helpful because you could time the most eventful parts of the sequence to when the music is most intense. And story. In this sequence, the audience is following me seek out content to film at 24 frames per second and see how I make it cinematic. Now, could I have shot this sequence in slow motion? Absolutely. In fact, I think it might even look a little bit better. But the point of this video was to challenge the need to use slow motion all the time in order to make a good video. Because most of the time, I think that slow motion is overly used and it could sometimes dampen creativity. So that's the video, that's all I got for you. If you found this video informational or at the very least entertaining, don't be shy to show me some love and hit that like button below. If you want to see more videos like this where I share my videography experiences to help anyone out, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kevin Mendoza and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.